story. There was a bird, a beautiful black bird, up in a very tall tree. There was a tall tree. And in the tree, there was a bird. little bird, a black bird, and has a little wing. The bird lived in a forest. In a forest there are many trees. And in the forest there were many other animals. There were birds, there were lions, there were elephants, tigers, what else? What other animals are in a forest? Monkeys. Monkeys. Fox. Snake. Snake. Yeah. What? No more lava. Rock bed. Oh, rabbit. A rabbit. Yeah. There are rabbits. Yeah. So there were lots of animals in this forest. And now this bird had a piece of cheese in his mouth, in his beak. So this is a beak. Color. A beak. Beak. B-E-A-K. Is a bird's mouth. Is a beak. My birds have a beak. Yeah. And so this bird, in his beak, there was a piece of cheese. So this bird likes cheese. Yeah. All the animals in this forest like cheese. But usually it's very difficult to find cheese in a forest because there's no cheese in the forest. But sometimes people come in the forest and people have cheese, and so the other animals can steal the cheese from people, and then they eat the cheese. So this bird found a piece of cheese. Maybe on the ground there was a piece of cheese, and the bird flew down on the ground and picked up the cheese in his beak, in his mouth, and then he flew up in the tree. And the bird knew he was safe up high up in the tree. The other animals are on the ground, but the bird is very high in the tree. So then a lion walked by the tree. We have a lion. Lions have lots of hair around their face. So we call this a mane. Mane. So the mane is the hair around the lion's face. So the lion came to the tree and the lion looked up and he saw the bird in the tree. He saw the bird had a piece of cheese and the lion was jealous. 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 Like if someone has something that you want, but you don't have it. So the lion was jealous of the bird. The bird had cheese and the lion likes cheese. He wanted the cheese. So the lion yelled to the bird, hey bird, give me the cheese. I want the cheese. But what? Okay. So yeah. So well, the bird didn't say anything. He didn't react. Didn't react. React like he didn't do anything. 
The bird didn't say anything. He didn't look at the lion. The bird just sat in the tree quietly. He did nothing. He didn't react. The lion continued yelling to the bird, give me the cheese, please. But since the bird didn't listen, so finally the lion went away. He went away furiously, furiously, like angrily. You're furious, furious, like angry. It's that he walked away furiously. He was furious, very angry, because the bird wouldn't give him any cheese. And the lion was hungry, but he went away. Then, a few minutes later, an elephant walked to the tree. Let's see if I can draw an elephant. Yeah, it has a long nose, yeah. Or we call this a trunk. 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 Yeah. <coughs> Elephants have a big trunk. Mm -hmm. The cock. Uh, the cock. The high. Uh, the cock. Trunk. Oh, okay, yeah, same as like a car, yeah. Behind in a car, in the back, is a trunk. But trunk is also an elephant's long uh, nose. Trunk. Yeah, trunk. Mm -hmm. So an elephant came to the tree, and the elephant, <coughs> the elephant looked up, and he saw the bird in the tree with the cheese. And the elephant really desperately wanted the cheese. And desperately, 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 like he really, really wanted the cheese. Desperately, oh, he loves cheese. He really, really wanted the cheese. So the elephant called to the bird and said, please give me the cheese. But the bird didn't react. He didn't say anything. He didn't do anything. Now the elephant started to cry. He cried very, very hard. Oh. But still, the bird didn't react. The bird didn't want to give him the cheese. So finally, the elephant went away. He walked away. He was very sad, very disappointed. He didn't get the cheese. The bird very cold. <coughs> the bird is very cold. Okay, it's cool. Yeah. He didn't react. He just sits. He only sits in the tree. Yeah. Well, then finally a fox came to the tree. A fox. Yeah. A fox. No, no, fox and then here, this is a fox. Okay. So a fox came to the tree. And the fox, now the fox was smart. The fox was smarter than the elephant and the lion. So when the fox saw the bird high up in the tree, and the fox said to the bird, oh, you are a beautiful bird. You are so pretty. You are gorgeous. 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 Like very, very pretty. Very beautiful. Gorgeous. You are a gorgeous black bird. Oh, he's working. 
describe other people? Yeah, uh huh. You can say, Ping, you are gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, people or animals. Yeah. Very beautiful. So, <clears throat> um, now the bird, at first, the bird was a little suspicious. 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 Like, at first, the bird thought maybe the fox is bad. He's suspicious. You're suspicious. You think, oh, maybe it's something bad. But the fox continued to compliment the bird. Like, compliment, you say nice things. Compliment. If you compliment a person, you say, oh, I like your clothes, I like your hair. So the fox continued to compliment the bird. He told the bird, oh, you have beautiful black feathers. And birds have feathers. Feathers. So... Right, on their body, birds have feathers all over the bird. Right, people don't have feathers, but birds <clears throat> have feathers. So the fox told the bird, oh, you have beautiful black feathers. You are gorgeous. So pretty. I wish I had beautiful black feathers like you. Then the fox said, you are so beautiful, you must have a beautiful voice when you sing. <laughs> the fox said, yeah, will you please sing a song for me so I, so I can hear your voice, your beautiful voice. And so the bird was very happy. The bird thought, yes, I am beautiful. The fox is right. I'm beautiful. I will show the fox I have a beautiful voice. So the bird opened his mouth and started to sing. But when the bird opened his mouth, his beak, the piece of cheese fell down. Yeah, it fell down. <laughs> On, and it fell down. Now the fox, his mouth was open. Oh. Fox was waiting with his open mouth and he caught the cheese in his mouth. So now the fox has the cheese. He caught the cheese and he ate the cheese hungrily. Very fast. He was hungry. He ate the cheese. And now the fox was happy. He got the cheese. Just what he wanted. But before the fox went away, he told the bird, you are not beautiful and you are not smart. And so the fox went away happily. The fox was happy. He got his cheese. But of course, the bird was very sad and disappointed. He lost his cheese. So. The moral of this story, the moral, a moral is like the lesson from the story, what we learn from the story. The moral of this story <clears throat> is don't believe the words of someone who wants something from you. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Do you need to hear it again? Yeah, don't, oh, I'll write it up here. Don't believe. Don't believe the words. Don't believe, right? Like, don't listen to, don't believe the words of someone who wants something from you. Okay, so. <clears throat>
Don't believe the words of someone who wants something from you. Right, because the fox wanted something from the bird. Right? He wanted the cheese. So the fox told the bird, you're so beautiful, you're gorgeous, you have beautiful feathers. But really, did the fox really think the bird was beautiful? No. No. Yeah, he just wanted a piece of cheese. Yeah. So I think it's saying, you know, sometimes in life, People will tell you something nice. Maybe they'll say, oh, you are beautiful, or you are smart, gorgeous. <laughs> but maybe they just want something from you. Yeah. So don't believe those people. Don't listen to those people. Do you have a question? I don't know what the, the, the bird, uh, the pitch. Cheese. Oh, cheese. Yes. 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 No. Okay, yeah, did you like the story? Yes. Yeah. yeah, okay. In Thailand, the bird uh, had the meat. meat. The bird, oh, has meat uh, in uh, his yes. mouth. Uh, no oh, cheese. Okay, not cheese. But in, in <laughs> Thailand, <laughs> the cheese has meat. Oh, okay, yeah. So it's a little different in China. Uh, a little different. Okay, but the same story? Uh, yeah. Yeah. The fox say you can say the sweet and several song. You can uh, sing the song for me. Yeah. Okay, yes. <laughs> yeah, and then the meat falls out yeah. of his mouth into the fox's mouth. Okay, so had everyone heard this story before? Yeah. Yeah, Lam, yeah. But Jenny, no, you've never heard the story. In the second, no. second grade at the elementary school, oh. the books. Okay, in books in elementary school, you learned the story. You read yeah, the story. When I was a a child, a child okay. to learn the uh, story. Okay. Yeah. In the school. All right. Yeah. Great. That's good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, so do you think it's a good lesson for us? A good moral? Yeah. Don't believe the words of someone who wants something from you. But it's difficult. Sometimes we don't know if maybe someone only wants something from us. So it's difficult. Yeah. All right, well, it's time to go. So have a good day, and I'll see you tomorrow.